What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to find angles and lengths in an isosceles trapezoid. Okay, so here's our trapezoid over here. As you can see both of these sides are congruent and the two bases are parallel. So here we're given one angle, 77 degrees, and we're trying to sit, figure out what these three angles are right here. So an easy place to start is by pointing out that all base angles are congruent, right? So all that means is that this acute angle is equal to this acute angle. And this obtuse angle is equal to, right, it's congruent to this obtuse angle. Okay, so the acute angles are the exact same and the obtuse angles are the exact same. So if we're trying to solve for angle one over here, angle one, we know it's going to be equal to this acute angle, which is 77 degrees, right? There's our first angle. Now, what about angle two? So the other thing we want to point out here is that consecutive interior angles along the same leg, right? This is called the leg of a trapezoid, are supplementary, all right? So in other words, that just means if you take an acute angle and you add it to this obtuse angle, those should add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so again, an acute angle plus an obtuse angle is equal to 180. Okay, so here we know angle one is 77, so we can say 77 plus angle two is equal to 180, right? So then subtract 77 from both sides. So then here we get that angle two is equal to 103 degrees, right? So angle two, we'll write it right here, is equal to 103. Okay, now lastly, to find angle three, well, again, like I mentioned, obtuse angles are equal to each other, right? So this obtuse angle is equal to this one. So if this is 103, so is this one. So angle three is also 103. All right, here's our next problem. So again, just trying to solve for these three angles. And here it gives us that uh, this angle is 111 degrees, all right? And as you can see, this trapezoid is now basically on its side. Okay, but that doesn't change anything. Everything still applies. So again, starting just with the base angles, right? So uh, this obtuse angle is equal to this obtuse angle, and this acute angle is equal to this acute angle, right? So that still holds true. So here, the first angle we can solve for is angle 3, right? Since we know this one's 111, that means angle 3 must also be 111. So let's just write that one right now. So angle 3 is equal to 111 degrees, right? Now, remember, an obtuse angle plus an acute angle should equal 180. Okay, so to solve for angle one over here, we can say that angle one plus this angle, uh, the obtuse angle, 111, is equal to 180, All right? So here, if we subtract 111 from both sides, here we get that angle one is equal to 69 degrees. Nice, all right, so angle one is equal to 69 degrees. Okay, now, lastly, to solve for angle two, like we already mentioned, the base angles are the same, right? So this acute angle is equal to this acute angle. So if this angle is 69 degrees, then angle two is also 69 degrees, right? Which is also nice. All right, so here's our next example. And again, we have our trapezoid. It's just upside down this time. And here we're given that this angle is 60 degrees and this one is 3x plus 15 degrees. So here we just wanna try and solve for x. Now, in order to solve for x here, we just have to keep in mind that again, base angles are congruent, right? So again, all that means is this acute angle is equal to this acute angle, and this obtuse angle is equal to this obtuse angle. So to solve for x over here, we can simply set it equal to this one over here, right? So we can simply say that 60 is equal to 3x plus 15. So here, uh, solving for x, let's get rid of this 15. Okay, so 60 minus 15 is equal to 45. So 45 is equal to 3x. So here we can see that x must be equal to 15. All right, here's the last example. So again, we have our trapezoid. And this time, as you can see, we have two diagonals drawn through them. All right, and we're also given that uh, the side length or the diagonal QS, so QS is equal to x plus five and RP, right, so RP, is equal to 3x plus 3. So again, we just want to solve for x in this problem. Okay, and the way that we can do that is by 
knowing the fact that whenever you have diagonals drawn inside of an isosceles triangle, those diagonals are congruent to each other. Okay, so this uh, length right here is congruent to this line. All right, so if we want to solve for x, we can simply set these equal to each other. So we can say qs is equal to rp, or in other words, we can say that x plus 5 is equal to 3x plus 3. So here we can get all the x's on one side by subtracting x from both sides and get the numbers to the other side, right? So minus 3, minus 3. So then here, 3x minus x is equal to 2x. And 5 minus 3 is 2. All right, so then we get 2 is equal to 2x. So here we can see that x must be equal to 1. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.